Welcome to your next lesson on ceremony and reception accessories. In this lesson, we will go over ceremony accessories, reception accessories, my favorite places to buy accessories, and how to save money on your accessories. First, let's go over your ceremony accessories. You'll want to consider the following accessories for your wedding, your marriage license and holder, wedding rings, vows, flowers, music, programs, signage, flower girl basket, flower girl petals for the flower girl basket, any readings you may have read, ring pillows, arches, aisle runners, and any memorial accessories you wish to include in your ceremony. You'll notice that the first two items are highlighted, those being your marriage license and your wedding rings. In all honesty, these are the only two items required for your ceremony and all others are optional. So let's discuss each one so you can decide if you'd like to include them in your ceremony or not. Your marriage license. Once this bad boy is signed by you, your fiance, the officiant, and one or two witnesses, usually your best man and maid of honor, in the eyes of that state's government, you are officially married. You'll want to make sure that you or your officiant, if that is part of their service, drops off or mails that license back to the same clerk's office you applied for it at. Then within a week or two normally, you'll receive by mail a certified copy of your marriage certificate. You can also purchase additional copies if you need them for your name change documents. Your marriage certificate holder is usually made of brushed silver. This document holder keeps your marriage certificate protected and in a spot you can remember. These holders are normally engraved with the couple's names and wedding date, so there's no excuse for not remembering your anniversary. Your vows. Marriage vows are promises each partner in a couple makes to the other during a wedding ceremony. If you're choosing to write down your own vows, you may want to consider a special notepad or book to keep them in so you don't lose or forget where you wrote them down. Flowers. You may wish to use flowers to decorate the wedding ceremony venue spaces, and while it's not a must per se, should you choose to incorporate them, you may wish to decorate the following spaces arches, any entranceways, the pews, the aisle, your bridal bouquets, corsages, and boutonnieres. Music. You may wish to include live music into your ceremony, like a harpist or guitar player, for your processional and recessional. If you're having a DJ instead of live music, the DJ should be able to play your music through an additional speaker set up in the ceremony space or be able to pipe into the ceremony venue's existing sound system should they have one in place. You'll want to make sure you clarify this with the ceremony venue. Programs are a nice keepsake of your wedding day for your guests. Think of it as a playbill you get before going to a show. It's going to let your guests know who the main players are, the order of events, a little information about who's in your wedding party, and any special poems or prayers you want to share. Signage. Guests love when they know exactly what to do, like where the bathrooms are, if there's a coat check, which aisles are reserved, where to sit, can they take pictures or not. You can accomplish all of this with some simple signage. Trust me, your guests will appreciate it. Fans. Fans are great for favors for outdoor weddings or those held in the summertime. You can even make them double duty by having your program printed on them and it's a great way to save some money if you're on a tight budget. Pet accessories. If you plan on including your beloved pets in the ceremony, you may want to consider dressing them in something special or making them stand out in some special way. There is much a part of your family as your bridal party. So some options you have are clothing, collars, leashes, ring pillows, or signs. Flower girl basket. This is what your flower girl will carry down the aisle filled with flower petals or confetti leading up to your entrance. And if you plan on having a flower girl, don't forget the flower petals for her to toss. Readings. Readings at a wedding are just that, special readings done by those closest to you reciting scripture, poetry, or special blessings. They can bring wisdom, humor, or a sense of togetherness to your nuptials. A good reading can change the energy of the ceremony by either lightening the mood or creating a sense of reverence. Ring pillow. 
This is what traditionally the ring bearer carries down the aisle with the couple's wedding bands attached to for the ring exchange at the ceremony. Nowadays, it can be a ring box, pouch, or other item you can safely secure your rings to. Arches. Being wed under a wedding arch or canopy is a tradition steeped with beautiful meaning for many cultures. It can symbolize the home a couple will build or the protection provided by the couple's parents. These days, wedding arches and canopies have been appropriated to ceremonies held outside traditional venues and are used as a ceremonial backdrop. For non-denominational weddings, particularly those held outdoors, a wedding arch provides a focal point. And arches now come in many shapes and forms from elaborate floral arbors to simple fabric backdrops and help to frame the most important part of the wedding day and the union in a beautiful way. And as you can see, there are quite a few to choose from, like metal arches, wooden arches, raw iron arches, fabric arches, twig arches, gazebo arches, pergolas, arches with gates, and Roman column arches. Arches will run anywhere from $20 to $1,400 and up, depending on the size and decor. Aisle Runner. In the days when roads were unpaved, wedding guests would arrive at the church and track in dirt or mud from the streets. It didn't seem right for the bride to drag the hem of her dress in the mud, so the aisle runner was first used to protect her gown. Today, most indoor locations don't suffer from guests tracking in dirt or mud, but many brides choose to use an aisle runner anyway as they lend a regal touch to the ceremony, though they are completely optional and lady shoes can go through them and they cause can cause your guests to trip. Memorial Accessories Memorial accessories are used as a way to honor a deceased family member or loved one in a wedding. You can choose to incorporate them into your bouquet of flowers, a framed photo on a chair or table, or any place that's visible to your guests for them to remember your loved ones whom have passed and cannot be with you but in spirit on your wedding day. Unity candles. Unity candles are used to represent your separate lives before that day, and then each one of you take your separate candles and light the center one to represent your two lives now being joined together as one. Tissues. <laughs> because hey, who doesn't shed a tear during such a joyous occasion? So now that we've covered what you may want to incorporate into your ceremony accessories, let's go over what you may want to consider for your reception, like a guest book and pen, a gift table and card box, an escort card display, a cake stand and topper, candles, flowers, table numbers, table menus, signage, a favor display, a cake serving set, and toasting glasses. Again, you'll see the highlighted in yellow ones are the most important items you'll want to have and the rest is optional and you should check with your vendors to see if they supply them before you go out and purchase these accessories. Guest book pen. A wedding guest book is the ideal keepsake to commemorate your big day and your beloved guests who were there to celebrate with you. They often sign it with special notes. Gift table and card box. This is where your guests can leave any gifts they have brought in for you. Escort card table. Escort cards are the more informal sibling of place cards and direct guests to a table rather than a seat. Once guests get to their table, if there are no place cards, they're free to choose their own seats. Place cards, on the other hand, not only direct guests to the table where they will sit during the reception, but also points each guest to his or her particular seat at the table. Flowers. Flowers are used to dress up and decorate your reception space. They go on your tables, food display tables, centerpieces, head tables, bar, cocktail tables, entranceway, anywhere you would like to decorate. Should you choose to use flowers to decorate your reception space, you may choose to incorporate them in the following areas. Entryways, guest tables, food display tables, bar or bars, cocktail tables, escort card tables, guest book tables, the head table, and the bridal party tables. Cake stand and topper. A cake stand is a pedestal used for displaying your wedding cake, something for your cake to sit on, if you will. 
If your baker does not provide this item, make sure to ask them what size you will need or how big the bottom layer of the cake is so you make sure you have one that fits. The cake topper was dominant in the US in the 1950s as a symbol of togetherness. Traditionally, it was a bride in a white dress and veil and a groom in a black waistcoat. Now they range from comical toppers, hobby toppers, multi-ethnic, and same sex. It's about time. Candles. Candles at a reception bring about a mood and ambiance. It brightens up a darker space and provides decor as well. Table numbers. Numbers on the tables indicate to guests where they will sit as depicted on the escort or place card. Table menus let your guests know what food will be served as well as how many courses. Signage lets your guests know things like where the bar is, a specialty drink and its ingredients, where a favor table or gift table are, as well as a photo booth, restrooms, etc. They're important if you do not have a planner, so visually your guests can see these things without having someone to ask. Favor displays do just that. They display your guests' favors. It's a small gift you give to your wedding guests to show your appreciation for their attendance at your wedding. Cake serving set. This is what you will use to cut and serve your wedding cake with. It's a keepsake to the couple and often passed down to the next generation. Toasting glasses are the formal glasses you and your new spouse will use during the toasts and speeches. Feel free to fill them with whatever you want. It does not have to be champagne or even something alcoholic. Some of my favorite and most inexpensive places to purchase your ceremony and reception accessories are Etsy, Oriental Trading, eFavor Mart, Party City, Light in the Box, Amazon, Boku, and Things Remembered. Now it's time to share a few of my accessory tips with you. DIY as many things as you can to save yourself some money like invitations, stationery, decor, your sign-in books, and favors. Enlist the help of any crafty friends or family members you may have to help you create these items so it will save you a ton of time having to make everything yourself. Remember, the more you can buy in bulk, the more money you'll save. This is especially true when it comes to your flowers and favors. If you can, use baby's breath for a lot of your flowers. It's extremely cheap and looks very classy. Also, ask to reuse your family heirlooms like a cake stand, cake cutting knife, and serving utensil, or your toasting glasses. Chances are your parents or grandparents may still have theirs tucked away somewhere and be happy for you to incorporate them in your day. If you're looking to purchase many accessories, try shopping at a thrift store. They have many unique items you can use for your accessories and will save you a ton of money while you're at it. Use coupons. Sign up on sites like Michael's, Joann's, AC Moore, Hobby Lobby. You can save quite a bit of money just by using coupons or shopping for what's on sale. And last but certainly not least, Try a wedding recycling website like Trade C, Wedding Recycle, Bravo Bride, Ruffled, or even Facebook groups or the Marketplace to find other brides who might be selling for cheap or giving away some of these accessories you may need or want to incorporate in your wedding day. 